Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to According to Jen. I just wanted to do one more video before the end of 2012 and the beginning of 2013. I know I've been terrible about uploading videos these past few months. It's just been a very busy time for my photography business, so. So do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? Um, trying to figure out what mine should Second, be. Second, um, I think I'm going to coin myself the red-headed, bare-skinned, uh, freckle-faced beauty guru for those of you on YouTube who have red hair and freckles and light skin tone or even just any of those things or even who just like my style I guess you could say which today is total PJs baby um, yeah you know I was doing a lot of looking on YouTube and I really can't find anybody who does who's like a guru for people with red hair or red hair and freckles and you know pale skin tones and stuff and I find it so hard to do some things because I don't have anybody who has the same type of complexion and skin tone and such as I do so they don't have a lot of the same problems so the things that they recommend are not things that look good on me but they think it does because of whatever training they've had so um, I was looking on YouTube to see if I could find any red-headed beauty gurus and I couldn't like I saw people with plenty of red-headed videos but they just like they had dark brown hair or their tutorials just weren't that good or their makeup didn't look that nice so um, I think I'm going to coin myself the U YouTube's red-headed, freckle-faced, pale-skinned beauty guru. Yeah! So because I'm coining myself the red-headed, freckle-faced, pale-skinned beauty guru for YouTube, um, or on YouTube I should say, um, I wanted to, I guess, end slash start the year off with a beauty tip for girls with freckles. But if you'll notice, I obviously have dark circles under my eyes. I also have discoloration on my eyelids and such. And um, one of the things that I have a hard time with is trying to find a concealer to go underneath my eyes to brighten this up a bit that doesn't go over my freckles and look like paste, but that also isn't too dark for my natural skin tone. So um, one of the things I have to do, let me roll my sleeves up, is I make my own primer, my own face primer. Um, I know it looks really gross. I think I've shown this on a video or two. Um, it is coconut oil and aloe vera with some baby powder. Um, nighttime lavender because I like the smell. Um, anyway, so what I do, and I know not everybody can do this, but I have um, really dry skin naturally, so this is something that I can get away with. Um, but so I just take some of that and I put it under my eyes right here. And obviously it's going to be quite oily. And actually I do put this all over my face, but since I'm just doing my eyes right now, I thought I'd just show you. Um, so I put that on just like that. Perfect. And then uh, what I do is I take Lorac Breakthrough Performance Foundation in SMS 1. Uh, as you can see, I'm running quite low on this. And it expired in February of 2011. That's how long I've had this. Um, I use a little bit though, a little bit goes a long way for what I use it for. And then um, I have this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in NW25. And I just put a little dot on top of my hand. And this is obviously way too dark for my skin tone, you can see. Um, there we go. Um, so it's definitely too dark, but my bottle of crap. Um, then I just put another squirt right there. And I use my finger to just kind of mix on the top of my hand, mix just a bit. And then um, I take it with my finger usually and dab it up underneath here. I put it over the top of my lid too. And this is actually um, if you're just wanting to look plain but even skin toned and you're just going to do your um, foundation and such before you go out. This is a great way to um, just kind of liven up your face. Um, just wanted to show you the before and after. I'm kind of um, use my phone here to blend and make sure everything looks good. And you could even throw just like a matte medium brown eyeshadow over the top of this and um, that could be like your, your you know, look for the day if you're planning to go out and don't feel like wearing makeup but just want an even skin tone. 
So as you can see, it doesn't settle into my wrinkles the way like a pasty, um, I guess, concealer normally would. And it doesn't look like paste on top of my freckles, like, you know, it doesn't make it look all white and weird. And then um, I do have it a little bit darker than my natural skin tone because I do use a powder that's darker. Um, but, you know, from a distance you can tell the big difference between the two sides. So um, this is obviously more red and darker up underneath here, and then this has a nice, you know, evened out skin tone. Well, anyway, so. um, happy 2013. I hope you guys have a great night tonight and a great time ringing in the new year. And I look forward to uh, what next year brings. So I will see you guys in the next video.